Hi everyone, it's Luis again. I'm here uh, doing a video on uh, this amazing plant. It's this Angrecum leonis. And this Angrecum is from Madagascar and uh, the Com Comoros Islands, northwest of Madagascar. And as you can see, the, the leaves are vandalike. So this is a vendaceous orchid. And uh, what I want to point out is that it's in bloom. Right there. I have to hold a spur, otherwise it'll break. Uh, but there you go. It's a beautiful flower. And it's usually fragrant at night. I have one other bud coming out. And that's going to be it for this uh, spike. Normally these plants have between one and seven flowers per inflorescence. And uh, the way you grow this is in um, porous media. I have mine in bark uh, with some perlite. And uh, they like high humidity. So their, their, their only method of storage, mo uh, storing moisture is through the leaves. So if you look at this plant, the plant leaves are going to be real thick and swollen because that's the only, the only place they can store uh, water. If there's no pseudobulb in this and the roots are real thin. And this is uh, my first plant of these uh, species. Uh, hopefully I'll get more flowers in the future but as you can see the little bud I don't know about you but I call it the tadpole because it looks like a tadpole to me but anyways these orchids have this long spur in the back and uh, these are pollinated by moths at night. That's an amazing flower. And I can't wait for the other one to bloom. And I think I t already talked about humidity. They prefer high humidity. 75 and up. And I'm struggling maintaining this. Because when I first got it, the leaves were pretty plump. And now they've shriveled a little bit. But that's expected because I live here in San Antonio, Texas. And uh, humidity goes down to in, in the 20s, between 1 and 4 in the afternoon. I do keep it in the greenhouse, but I, uh, I don't have a water wall. So I do have a DIY sub pump that I created my well I didn't create it my friend did it but then she gave it to me and uh, this is it Angrecum leonis you grow this in porous material like bark with perlite it requires high humidity between 75 80 85 uh, bright indirect light and it blooms in the spring between one and seven flowers, sometimes nine, depending on how good you grow it. Uh, there you go. Angrecum Linoris. Thanks for watching.